With the days getting colder and snowier, my friend Robbie and I know that the Arctic Winter Games is just around the corner. Today, we have seven-time Paralympic gold medalist Stephanie Dixon heading into the F.H. Collins Sports School program to show some of our past and future Arctic athletes that her physical disability is anything but a handicap. Throughout the footage, you'll see special guest and Olympic weightlifting bronze medalist Christine Girard guiding the students through their exercises. She is joined alongside Sport Yukon's own physical literacy coordinator and sports school coach, Jeannie Lassen, as well as sports school coach and teacher, Chris Kirk. Stephanie is no stranger to the students of this program, as she recently spoke with the group. Her words certainly had an impact. I'm Stephanie Dixon, 19-time Paralympic swimmer, and I'm here with Avery and Amy at the sports school at FH Collins. And Avery, we'll start with you. I came into your class a couple of weeks ago to talk about my experience growing up with one leg and my Paralympic experience. And what did you take away from that presentation? I thought it was really inspirational because you said that as a kid, even though you only had one leg, you didn't feel any different from any of the other athletes in your town and you played every single sport that they played. And that's really great because lots of people, you know, in that situation would back down from sports and say, I can't do it because I'm not like the other kids. And Amy, today I came to your weightlifting class and I was working out with you guys on, on my one leg. And what did you take away from that experience? I thought it was great because even though you only have one leg, you still have, can do everything that uh, we can. And I was very inspirational. I'm here with Etienne, an incredible freestyle skier from here in Whitehorse. Etienne, you were also there for my presentation I gave to the sports school a couple weeks ago. What really stood about my presentation for you? Uh, what really touched me, I think, in the presentation was the fact that uh, competing against people that were able-bodied didn't, didn't cause you any trouble and you just gave it always 120% of what you had and it never, never stopped you from becoming what you became now. <laughs> We're here with Karen and Levi. We have Levi, a hockey player, and Karen's an incredible break dancer. And guys, you were both here for my presentation that I did to the sports school a couple weeks ago. I just want to know what you took away from it. We'll start with you, Karen. Um, I took away that it's not always about your physical abilities, but it's a lot in the mental capacity of what you think of. And if you think you're going to do great, you'll do great. If you think that you're going to be better than everyone else, then chances are you're going to be really cocky and not do very good. So I think that's awesome. Great, yeah. And Levi, what did you take away from my presentation? Uh, I've never seen, besides one year in hockey, I had a guy with one eye. And he was, we treated him as the same. Like you can do way more than probably I can. Yes. <laughs> when, when I come in here and I'm working out with you guys, doing the weightlifting, you know, what, what do you think, seeing a person with one leg weightlifting? I, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of like, can you do it, can you do it? And then I see you do it, I'm like, wow, <laughs> you can do it. Uh, okay. when, I was, when I was taking my breaks off from the snatches, I was watching, I was like, holy. Stephanie truly is an inspiration to all of us, and she proves that physically demanding and dynamic movements can be made accessible to anyone. Her passion, strength, and determination are all traits that our Team Yukon athletes are sure to display this March in Fairfax. <laughs> As always, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at SportUConn to stay up to date on all of your sport information needs in the Yukon.